All right, so this is the injector nozzle tester. Uh, I wanted to build one at first. <laughs> Actually, you can you can build one. You find this online uh, if you use an old jack. You modify this with some pipes and then a dial. I had some problems finding the dial. Now let me show you. So I bought this one. It's rated until. Uh, 60 megapascal so i think this will work i don't know uh thing is after i got the dial and i had the jack i need just need to get the pipes uh i found this nozzle injector nozzle tester and i thought it was a good deal so i bought this one instead of uh you know going through the process of building one but anyway now let's see if this one that's already built and it looks much better, the dial is much bigger than what I have, should be, I think this one should be better than uh, the one that I would build, right, because my dial is smaller and so on, and I don't know if the materials will resist to, to diesel, so, yeah, this is the one, let me, this is the unboxing, let me try to set this up here on the table and uh, this I'll try to do a quick test to see if it's any good so let me get the clamp so basically this is uh, a jack it will build pressure here it will show you how much pressure do you have in here I will uh, connect this pipe with the injector so yeah, let me let me set this up I need to uh, to clamp this somehow or I should drill some holes and then add diesel into the reservoir and uh, yeah basically the testing now I've added clamps I put the diesel here inside the reservoir. I've connected uh, the injector. I've bled this, uh, you know, for air. Uh, and now let's see if this works. So, if I'm pressing here, the pa the pressure will ra will raise, and um, and I get around twenty something, right? Around twenty. I see it's here. The injector will will open. And so around 20 if you can see here it's, uh, it's doing a good job it's without bleeding yeah so this was it uh, for the injector nozzle tester